VA Earl, a streamlined refinance for veterans explained. Hey everyone, Jeff Trevarthen here, Jeff the Mortgage Pro. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're talking about my favorite topic, VA loans. I love these and I love doing for these for anyone all over the country. This is the uh, easier of the VA loans to do, um, which makes it really great because veterans can benefit and there's usually not a lot of hassle when we're trying to do a VA Earl loan or a VA Streamline Refinance loan as sometimes that it's called. So the VA Earl stands for Interest Rate Reduction Loan. That's why the Earl is used as an abbreviation sometimes. So here are the uh, eligibility requirements that you have when you are trying to get a VA Earl. So you have to already have a VA backed home loan. You have to plan to use the VA Earl to refinance the VA backed home loan. So you cannot be used for mortgages on different homes. So that's hopefully fairly obvious to everybody that's watching this video. Um, number three, you can prove that you li live in the home covered by the loan. Uh, so homes that are purely investment are not eligible. So if, take, for example, you uh, purchased a home with a VA loan and then you moved on a couple years later and you bought another property, but then you turn that original VA home loan backed property into an investment property and that's the one that has a VA loan on it. You cannot use a, a VA Earl in this instance because you don't live in the property. It's not your primary residence. So your VA loan next has to be at least 210 days old. And this happened as a result of the financial crisis. Uh, and even later on beyond that, where lenders were churning VA loans uh, because they were so profitable for the banks and it was not to the benefit of the veteran. So they instituted a rule 210 days, you have to wait. So as interest rates drop, hopefully they don't drop fat too fast and you don't have to refinance uh, sooner than those six months. And then lastly, your interest rate has to drop by half a percent, uh, or you're converting it from a an ARM VA loan to a shorter fixed loan, like a 15 year fixed to a 30 year fixed loan. So as long as there's a benefit to you, the borrower, then we're gonna be okay there. So half a point lower in interest rate if we're going from a 30 year fixed to a 30 year fixed, or you can go from an ARM loan or a 15 year fixed to a 30 year fixed to help you benefit uh, in terms of getting a VA Earl loan. So here's some of the benefits. It is very limited paperwork. Really, we only need your certificate of eligibility. And when you apply with me at guaranteed rate, we automatically pull that for you. So there's not even a lot of looking that you need to do. If you can't find that or we can't find that, you're gonna need to contact the local VA and request that certificate of eligibility. So there's no income, employment, or credit verification required. It's significantly less paperwork than any type of loan that you've ever done for a mortgage, that's for sure. Uh, interest rates are typically lower on these, and this is because these loans are backed by the government and they have what's called a funding fee associated with them, any VA loan does. And the funding fee is what helps us be able to get lower interest rates on these loans because they're backed by the government in case you do default uh, on, your, on your VA loan. So there's no mortgage insurance, primary mortgage insurance required on VA loans. So remember that, and this is no different. So if you're going from a VA loan to a new VA loan with a lower interest rate, there's still no mortgage insurance on it, which is awesome. Um, you're able to finance this with little or no equity. So if you are, uh, you know, have a loan, we don't need to do an appraisal on this. So we're going to use whatever value you originally had to do this streamline refinance because we're going to assume you paid the loan down a little bit. Uh, another benefit, like I just mentioned, appraisal is not required. So we don't have to do these on streamlined refinances. We don't even really need the value because you're already qualified for a VA loan. We're just helping you reduce your interest rate to a lower payment, most likely. And then a lower credit score will not disqualify you. So the better your credit score is, the better the pricing typically is on your streamlined refinances, but you're not automatically disqualified if you have a low credit score. As long as we can do it as a lender, we're going to do it. 
Um, and then lastly, available to most veterans and active duty members of the armed forces from all branches, including the reserves and the National Guard members. So definitely available for just about anyone that is doing a uh, VA loan. All right, that's it. That's the VA Earl refinance loan. If you or somebody across this country has a VA loan and you need to reduce your interest rate, please make sure you reach out to me. It's Jeff, the mortgage pro. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great one.